Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Publisher, you cannot apply font formatting to a text containing object if it is selected as an object. When selected as an object, you can only apply shape formatting to an object even if the shape contains text. To apply text formatting to text contained within an object, you must click into the text within the object and then select the text to which you want to apply formatting. Once you have selected your text, you can click the buttons available in the Font Button group on either the Home tab or the Format tab of the Text Box Tools Contextual tab. You can hold your mouse pointer over any button shown in this button group to see a screen tip that shows the name and function of each button. Note that some buttons, such as the Font Color button, have a small drop-down arrow on them that you can click to select a choice from the drop-down menu. Other buttons, such as bold and italic, are simply toggle buttons that either apply or remove the formatting specified by the button. Also notice that the clear formatting button, which removes all text formatting from selected text, returning it to plain text within a text containing shape. Alternately, if you select text within an object, you can simply hold your mouse pointer over selected text and wait for the mini toolbar to appear. You can then use the formatting buttons in the mini toolbar to apply many common font formatting options. For advanced users, you can set all font formatting options for selected text by clicking the font dialog box in the lower right corner of the font button group on either the home tab or the format tab of the text box tools contextual tab within the ribbon. In the font dialog box that appears, you can access many text effects. Use the various drop-down menus and check boxes to apply the formatting you want. At the bottom of the dialog box is a preview of how the selected font formatting will appear. You can click the Apply button to apply the formatting and leave the font dialog box open, or you can click the OK button to apply the formatting and then close the entire dialog box. You can apply paragraph formatting to selected text by clicking the buttons available within the Paragraph button group, located on the Home tab within the ribbon. Here you will find bullets and numbering, line spacing, paragraph alignment, and special characters. Like font formatting, you can also click the Paragraph dialog box launcher in the lower right corner of this button group to open up the Paragraph dialog box. In this dialog box, you can set the properties shown on the three tabs available indents and spacing, tabs, and line and paragraph breaks. Make your desired paragraph formatting settings on these tabs and then click the OK button to apply them. You can also apply predefined styles to selected text. Styles allow you to create a consistent appearance of the text within your publications, such as title text and heading text. To apply a style to selected text, click the Styles drop-down button in the Styles button group on the Home tab within the ribbon, and then select the desired text style to apply from the drop-down menu. In the Arrange button group on the Home tab in the ribbon, you will find options you can apply to selected text within a shape, as well as options that apply to the entire shape. You can click the Wrap Text drop-down to select a style of text wrapping to apply to text within a text box. You can either click the Bring Forward or Send Backward drop-down buttons to change the order in which the selected object overlaps other objects on the page. You can click the Align button to choose from one of the available alignment options displayed within the drop-down menu of choices. If you have multiple objects simultaneously selected in your page, you can click the Group button to group the individual shapes together as a single unit. Clicking the Ungroup choice will split grouped objects back to their individual components. You can click the Rotate button to select a rotation option for the selected object from the drop-down menu of rotation choices. You can also click the Format tab of the Text Box Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon to see other attributes that you can apply to selected text in a text box, as well as to the text box itself. If you have text selected, you can click the Text Fit drop-down button in the Text Button group on the Format tab within the ribbon to apply a selected method of fitting text within its shape. 
you can click the text direction button to alternate the text between vertical and horizontal display. You can click the hyphenation button to open up the hyphenation dialog box where you can set whether or not to automatically hyphenate text within a text box and where the hyphenation should occur. Within this text box, you can click the manual button to manually set hyphenation if desired. When finished, click the OK button. Also note that you can click the Format Text Box Launcher that appears in the lower right corner of the text group in order to open up the Format Text Box dialog box. This dialog box allows you to set all of the text box properties available. When finished, you can click the OK button to apply them. The Font Button group, shown on the Format tab of the Text Box Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon, displays the same choices that you have displayed in the Font Button group on the Home tab in the ribbon. In the Alignment Button group on this tab, you can set the horizontal and vertical alignment of text within the shape by clicking a desired button. You can also click the Columns and Margins buttons to set column display in a shape or to set internal margin size. In the Linking button group, you can create a link between text boxes so that overflow text from the first text box will appear in the second box. This allows you to continue a story across multiple text boxes on different pages, which can be useful for newspaper publications. To do this, select the first text box that contains the text you wish to link. Then click the Create Link button. Next, click on the empty text box where you want the overflow text to appear to create a link between the two boxes. Arrows will appear on these text boxes once they are linked, and you can click the arrows to easily move between the two linked boxes. Once linked, you can click the Break button to break a link if necessary. You can also click the Next and Previous buttons to jump between linked text boxes quickly. If using Publisher 2010, then the Effects button group on the Format tab of the Text Box Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon, you can click the Shadow, Outline, Engrave, or Emboss toggle buttons to apply and remove those styles to the selected text. If you are using Publisher 2013, in the Word Art Styles button group, you can click on a Word Art Style shown to apply it to the selected text. You can also click the Text Fill drop-down in this same button group to choose a fill color for the selected text. You can click the Text Outline drop-down to choose a color, weight, dash style, and outline effects for the selected text. You could also click the Text Effects drop-down button to select a type of text effect group by category to apply to the selected text from the drop-down menu that appears. In the Typography button group, you can click the Drop Cap drop-down to select a style of drop cap for the selected text. If the text you select is numeric, you can use the Number Style drop-down to choose a number style. You can click the Ligatures drop-down to set a desired ligature style for the text, which can improve readability. For some types of fonts, you can use the Stylistic Sets drop-down to select a set of alternate character shapes for the selected text. If the font you've selected includes decorative characters, you can click the Swash button to enable flourishes in the selected text. And for some types of fonts, you can use the Stylistic Alternate drop-down to select a different set of character shapes for the selected text. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.